you would like to take advantage of an area of the rules of golf at the minute, you will be able to hit the ball an extremely long way. Hello, you golfing legends. It's your boy, Top Bloke. I hope you are all doing good. Now, about a month ago, right, I did a video about Bryson to shampoo and Ian Poultry. And, you know, he was like whinging about Bryson's length. Like my wife never moans about my length, but that's another story. And uh, the response that video got was immense. It was like one of the most popular videos I've ever done and it earned me loads of money. It earned me like 350 quid in AdSense revenue. Which ain't bad, is it? For like four minutes talking absolute rubbish. Yeah, admittedly, it was a little bit clickbaity, but it got people speaking. I got over like 600 comments. And None of this is cheating on Bryson's part. All of his jealous and title spoiled babies embarrassed because he's kicking their butts. Good for him. I think what Ian means is that he's a bit myth that Bryson is better than him. Ha! The, um, the general consensus is that Ian Poultry is the most hated man in golf. But more, more than Patrick Reed, I would say. Comment down below, do you think that is the truth? Come a golfer, you hadn't become involved in golf in any way, what would you have done? If you'd had to have a proper nine to five job, I guess the question. Uh, I wouldn't have had a nine to five job. I would have done something where I, um, I, I, I don't know, um, nine to five. I mean, it's not hard to sort of know why he is because do you remember like a couple of years ago, he got on a, he booked a flight, didn't he, on British Airways and uh, he's got four kids and a wife and a nanny. And uh, they made a bit of a cock up with his reservation. He booked all first business class or whatever, but they couldn't get the nanny on with them up, up front. She had to go and sit in the back with all like, the other peasants. And he wrapped it on Twitter. And he, he must have lost so much respect for a lot of people when that happened. I personally think the main reason why people dislike Ian is that he's always bragging about his wealth. Yeah. It's like you always see him in front of his mansion, his fleet of sports cars. We don't need it to be rubbed in our faces, how shit our lives are. He's always forever moaning and whinging on the golf course. Oh, I never moan, do I? He gets the ump really easy, smashes his clubs on the ground, gives the cameraman dirty looks. Now Ian, I know you watch all my videos, right? But your dress sense isn't very clever. I don't think you're a particularly good golfer. You're coming to the end of your career and you're getting a bit, bit of a bit of an old man. You're getting resentful. You're not the young, good looking geezer you used to be. And uh, therefore you're putting other players down. And I think that doesn't bode well to, you know, to the audience in the golfing community. So, uh, what do you think? Comment down below. Do you think that Ian is the most hated or one of the most hated people in golf? Or is there others higher on the list? Patrick Reed, Reed do you think no one can touch him? Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video. And if you liked it, give me a bit of bendy thumb love and hit that subscribe button, guys. Come on. I've been on this damn YouTube platform for so long. I've got hardly any subscribers. Anyway, thanks for watching. Laters. Oh, by the way, don't call Americans fat. They don't like it. How many preservatives they put in their bread yeah. is beyond me. That's why you've got giants over there. I mean, you know, you, you should put a bread in the cupboard and come back after two days and it should be growing fungus and all sorts of so stuff. Yeah, <laughs> that's supposed to be more silent than that.